This video is part two of how I overcame my depression by changing my energy. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it. Tony Robbins has a great quote where he basically talks about how depression and anxiety are two different sides of the same spectrum. And so pro tip, if you struggle with anxiety, this video is going to be majorly helpful for you as well. Let's look at your mental and physical energy as a scale. On one side of the scale, we have low energy. On the other side of the scale, we have high energy. Now let's introduce the concept of control over your mind, your body, and your spirit. If you have control over your mind, your body, and your spirit, and you're in a low energy state, you're probably gonna be okay because you know how to get out of that state or just comfortably exist in that state. Same thing, if you believe that you have control over your mind, your body, and your spirit in a high energy state, you're probably going to be okay. But if you don't have control, mm -hmm -hmm, well, a low energy state is synonymous with depression. Low mental energy, low physical energy. Sounds a whole lot like depression. Same thing, if you have an overabundance of energy and you don't know how to control it, that's anxiety, right? An overabundance of mental energy, too many things happening in your mind. An overabundance of physical energy, too many things happening in your body and you don't know how to get a handle on it. Fundamentally, this is what depression and anxiety are, an excessively low state of energy or an excessively high state of energy, both of which you don't know how to control. But if you're putting labels on things like this, well, the obvious thing to do is to bring your low energy back to a balanced middle state or bring your high energy back to a balanced middle state, both of which it's a little bit easier to get a hold on. In my opinion, the best way to get a hold on these energy states is to do it by going through your body. If you are feeling yourself in a state of anxiety, you wanna slow that energy down. If you're having all types of crazy paranoia thoughts and so many things are going through your mind but you slow your physical energy down your mind will slow down too and it will happen automatically you don't need to think a certain way you don't need to use a certain affirmation just slowing your body down will slow down your mind now same thing if you're struggling with depression and you're finding yourself in this sulky horrible mood and you're like well like we talked about right scrolling on social media looking at all types of internet content that is disempowering you. You don't have to change the type of content you're looking at, right? You don't have to do anything that's, that's again, affirmations, mind-bending activities. All you have to do is raise your physical energy. It is that easy, I promise you. And so in this step, all I want you to do is start to become conscious of what is happening in your body when you are experiencing this state of energy, whether it's depression, whether it's anxiety. Just notice, how does my body feel? If you can start to build an association with the way that your body is energetically experiencing reality, right? And the way that you feel mentally and emotionally, you can start to shift, but you have to make that association first. You have to accept that this is potentially possible for you right now. In the next video, I will talk to you about the how, and I want you guys to drop a comment if that's interesting at all, but right now, just start to build awareness. I promise you, this is the most impactful step. Drop a comment if this resonates with you and let me know, do you wanna see part three of exactly how to do this, right? Exactly how to change your physical energy.